Earlier this week, somebody had left a comment on uh, the cruise control video um, saying that you can actually activate cruise control at lower speeds than 18 miles per hour, um, citing a, a, a video that uh, Jurgen Winter Larsen had done. Yeah, that's actually true. Uh, the key is that you have to be following a vehicle in front of you, and so uh, I wanted to just show that as an update to my previous video. So let's check it out. Okay, here we are driving along. Um, I'm gonna try to find, hopefully at a stoplight or something when we slow down. Um, I'm going to show you the icons and what displays when there's a car in front of you because you have more options for cruise control if, at lower speeds <clears throat> um, if there's a car in front of you because it, um, it's easier for the car to track. So this looks like a good situation here. Yeah, we got a red light, so I'll just pull up. You can see the icon is indicating that I could activate it now if I wanted, even uh, auto steer. So I'm going down, and it disappeared right then because um, I had my brake on. But now you can see I'm going really slow. Now I have the brake. It's, it's not available when you put the brake on because that, you know, disengages it. But now I'm hardly even moving, but I could, I can still. Uh, activate it and you notice there I just activated it and um, I had no previous activation so I had no you know reset to current to uh, previous speed so the default speed is 18 miles per hour uh, which is interesting I didn't know that initially so let me turn it off again and uh, see if we can get to another red light usually I don't drive around hoping for red lights Okay, so both cruise control and auto steer are available, and I'm gonna put my brake on so they go away. And now I'm gonna be going really slow here. Still available, so boom. I activated at five miles per hour, and a reset to my previous, which was 25 miles per hour, which is a little slow on this street, so I'm gonna increase it. Auto steer is available. <clears throat> so yeah, that's it. Um, you can't activate it while you're braking, which, you know, if you're at a stoplight, generally you have your foot on the brake. Um, although it is possible, you know, with the Teslas, if you push, if you push the brake, um, you know, far enough when you're at a standstill, it'll activate the hold. So you can let go of the brake and, and it'll just keep the car uh, stationary. I'm gonna take cruise control off. Um, so I don't know if you can activate it during that hold, so let's try that. Okay, I'm coming up. Let's see if I can put this in hold. There, I'm in hold. Nope, it's not available. But once I start going, boom, uh, it becomes available and I can reset the uh, cruise control. So that's pretty cool sort of makes sense that you can't activate a cruise control when you've just put your car in a brake hold. <laughs> so, alright, well thanks for watching this little update and uh, more videos as soon as I can get them and I'm gonna head back home. Thanks for watching.